Hello guys, welcome to technojob.in. Here we are with uh, probability tricks and formula. Before going in detail about this, I would like to tell about our platform that is technojob.in. We provide jobs for BE, BTech students and also give information about government jobs, private jobs, walk-in drives, off-campus drives, internships and also tech news. So in this video, we are going to deal with the probability tricks and formulae. What actually probability means? Favorable outcome by total number of outcomes. So to understand in a better way, we are going to uh, solve some tricks and formulae uh, to understand what actually this means. Here we have some. If you find in a probability that and or at least or at most or anything, so you have to solve, you have to um, maintain this so that you can easily solve the probability uh, tricks. So and means you have to get multiplied or means you have to add the both things. At least means minimum to maximum. That is nothing but if they find to uh, if they said to pick up three balls out of four so you have to do if they said at least three balls then at least three balls then what you have to do is you can pick three balls or four balls because at least because it is a minimum thing to maximum we can pick up this is the at least so by solving the problems you you'll be coming to know about that okay and at most coming to the at most it is maximum to minimum here I'll give you an example that is three balls a probability of two at most two you have to pick up then maximum two you have to pick up or else you can pick up one also but not more than one because the thing is at most at most is maximum to minimum this is a thing and coming here if you find anything like in a question selection or picking up it is nothing but a combination so there are two ways of this we can use a formula or without using a formula so coming to the formula a combination formula is ncr equal to n factorial by r factorial into n minus r factorial so in all the cases mainly in aptitude it is a difficult to understand or to remember the formulas and each and everything it doesn't save the time so try to do without using a formula i'll i'll just tell you how to do the problems without using formula for combinations here there is a bag and there are four balls you have to pick up a probability of three then it is nothing but out of four balls you have to pick up three balls that is four c three so it is nothing but you have to the upper one you have to reduce to three times four three two and for three you can uh, up to that you can from minimum to maximum maximum is three so one two three you can pick up so the answer for this and for this will be same but the time uh, is matters in the aptitude so you can easily follow this trick and here we have a question here see if the number of balls we needed to choose is less the main thing here the other trick is the other trick is if the number of balls we needed to choose is less so here we i have an example for you out of 100 balls you have to pick up 98 balls see what is this 100 c 98 so you have to reduce it to 98 it it is not a easy matter to solve so here i have a trick for you you can you have to minus out of 100 to 100 minus 98 so that you'll get 2 so 100 c2 you you can write 100 c2 and you can easily uh, reduce to two times that is that doesn't matter actually this matters because you have to reduce 98 times so this is simple as this so you can follow this so by reducing you will get the answer the answer which you get here is same the answer where you get here here is the other example a bag contains a bag contains six five green balls and three blue balls where three balls should be picked up where the probability two are green and one is blue so read carefully read carefully the question 
and then answer see we have to pick up a three balls where we two should be a green and one should be a blue so here when i already said you when you find and you have to multiply so here see how many balls we have green we have five balls we have five balls out of it two we have to select okay and out of we have three blue balls out of uh, one we have to get selected so out of how many eight balls five plus three equal to eight balls you have to pick up you have to pick up three balls so eight c three by solving this without using formula how i have said you have to reduce two times five into four and uh, by one into two like by solving this you will be getting an answer this is the easy way to answer the question see here is the other question for you guys you have to solve it and give me the answer in the comment section so here a bag contains 10 green balls and 20 blue balls where you have to pick up a two balls where is the probability one should be a green and one should be a blue okay by using and so how the other one is done before same like that only but uh different some difference is there please do the do this question and answer me in the comment section so and some more problems on probability will be discussed in the next video so don't miss the next video of probability questions so that i'll be solving it and and here the trains problem i already given you are two problem two problems to solve and answer me in the comment section some of the people have given it so uh, just look in look into here how i did a uh, two problems so here a train covers 10 kilometers in 10 minutes if it takes 6 seconds to pass a telegraph post we have to find out the length of the train we already i have said you that s equal to d by t wherever the train problems gets the main formula you have to remember is s equal to d by t so here uh, for this they given a um, time and also length you can find the distance for this so 10 into because it is in a kilometers and it is in a minute so you have to change it into a seconds so 10 into 1000 by 10 into 60 minutes so 50 by 3 you got you got a speed from it and now they given a time of 6 seconds we already known from this the speed so the, here is the speed so we already know that s equal to d by t now here we have to find out um, length length is nothing but distance l equal to s into t we already know that 6 seconds is given so 6 into 50 by 3 equal to 100 meters and the answer is 100 meters the length of the train is 100 meters and the other example is here a train of equal length running on parallel lines in the same direction of uh, s1 40 kilometer per hour s2 30 kilometer per hour faster faster train passes the slower train find the length okay this is the question and here we have a hmm, we have here see the thing is 10 kilometer per hour they given Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.